Ahoy! So today I'm talking about the MT32 Pi project. It is a bare metal MIDI synthesizer for the Raspberry Pi. So bare metal means that there's no real operating system as such. It's just running a program off the SD card upon boot, so it should just be faster. So this is normally used for plugging into old dust machines to get a much better MIDI sound out of them. And in some cases, even the exact sound as what, what the creators of the music would have heard. Now it does that through sound fonts. So this is two modes. You can either have synthesizer modules or sound fonts. I've got this hooked up to sound fonts because I figured, what if I have something like this MIDI device? It's a tiny piano. It has no audio out and it has no way of actually producing sounds itself. All it does is send MIDI, send MIDI information to something. So I put a few incredibly high quality sound fonts on the SD card and just booting it up and plugging the keyboard in and you start playing, you actually start hearing sound. So no longer do you need a massive, a massive laptop to produce sounds out of a tiny device. This also works for drums. You can just plug into the drum module and you can assign any kind of sounds, sounds that you want to it. Now, the whole reason why I have it plugged into an ITOS external DAC is because I actually didn't know this. The internal sound is awful coming out of the, the headphone jack. So this is going through my mini rig speaker. Uh, I'll switch it on. Both lights will be on for a while. Uh, the green one, I think, I think it's the green one, will go out once it's booted and loaded this, the sound font. Now, this is a 600 meg sound font and it's overkill just for the piano. But I figured let's give it a shot. So, yes, yeah, delightful sound from when you first booted. All right, so the green light's on. We just wait a little bit. All right, so now that it's loaded, so fully functioning. Uh, you can switch sustain on. You can uh, modulate it a little bit. You can pitch bend. It's fantastic. It's it works really well. And now the whole reason why I have the switch hooked up is because if you it ha it can take four buttons: one to change synthesizer, one to change sound font, and then volume up and down. This is hooked up to change sound font, and it simply goes to the next sound font that's on the card. So let's listen to what I've got now. Let's switch it to something slightly <laughs> less insane size-wise. Okay, and now. So it's quite a different sound. So I really love this. It's a fast, quick, tiny way of getting stuff working. Um, yeah, so the external DAC that I'm using is the Adafruit UDA1334A, and I just followed the, the wiring diagram on their site for it. So uh, then goes to 21, the bit clock goes to 18, and then the word select goes to 19. And then of course, 3.3 uh, volt power and ground. That's it, it's super easy. Um, <clears throat> I guess for completeness, I will pause here, plug into the, yeah, actually I can just do it live, right? Oh no, I can't, I have to change the, I have to change the, the config. So I will pause and come back to show you just how horrible it is coming out of the Raspberry Pi directly. All right, and we're back and you may hear a delightful hissing in the background. That's just nothing happening except for the Raspberry Pi clearly just channeling demons. And I get ready for the most soothing sounds you'll ever hear. Mmm, hissy, ringy, horrible. Anyway, so that's the project and it works perfectly well when you plug it into a drum, a drum kit. So this is divine. If I want to have different sounding drums, I can just put the original uh, 808 drum kit in here and a uh, sound font in here and just like drum away to, to cheesy 80 goodness. Anyway, that's that's the MT32 Pi uses as mini synthesizer. It's fantastic. Uh, yeah, have fun. Bye.